In part five of my um, SharePoint Basics series, we're going to take a look at changing the look of your site. Now, this is very similar to what we used to know as the themes of sites, and um, it's actually quite easy to do. Before I go to the SharePoint sites, though, I just want to remind you that even in Office 365, you can also change the theme that you use in Office 365. So if I go to the settings in the office.com where I go to the portal, you'll see that there's a theme there and I can then even select another theme. So maybe I'm feeling, um, I'll do something fun with some, uh, some robots. So, uh, so there you go. That's, uh, that's quite easy. Just uh, cancel that again. And that uh, actually adds a little bar at the top for uh, even if you go to your Outlook and uh, some of the apps and services actually brings that through. So going back to SharePoint then, of course, to change the um, look or to change the theme in SharePoint is very, very easy as well. And um, in the old SharePoint, of course, we used to go to site settings and then um, to change the look or to the themes there and to change the themes. I'll definitely show you what, uh, what that looked like as well. And then, of course, this is the new sites. Let's look at, um, quickly look at the old uh, classic sites. So if I uh, go to, and this is, of course, a, this is a SharePoint Online, but uh, this still has the same look and feel as the older versions of SharePoint that we worked on. And uh, we used to have a lot of fun on these. I mean, I did crazy stuff with uh, promoted links and uh, adding some CSS to style the, the, um, the headers of the web parts and like really crazy stuff. So, but we also had a lot of fun and without uh, doing serious, uh, complicated stuff. Now, if I, in the older environment, went to settings and uh, I went to site settings, I could then go to um, the settings page. And from there, I could then um, select to change the look. So you'll see that there uh, is change the look. And, um, and there used to be quite a lot of templates that we could choose from. So, of course, we had a lot of fun with all the versions of SharePoint, messing around with promoted links and styling the web parts and bringing background images in. And, uh, and now on the new modern um, look and feel sites, we can also have a lot of fun. I mean, there's so many opportunities to uh, build beautiful sites and it's a uh, mobile responsive. Everything is just wonderful. So if I go back to the new um, templates, of course, the different templates that you get is the topic template, which is this one, um, which normally shows the Yero web part at the top. And then you always get the showcase template as well. And this uh, has a bit of a staggered look when it comes to the images and the text. Now, to change these templates are really, really, very easy. I will go to the settings wheel at the top right. And there where you see um, the drop down at the bottom, you've got change the look. So if I go change the look, it already gives me quite a lot of examples. So I can very easily just pick one of these uh, color groupings or these themes. And of course, you can also go to um, classic change the look options, which is similar to the previous ones I just showed you. So if I had to pick another color, let's go dark blue, um, see what a, um, um, immediate uh, difference this makes. And then keep in mind as well, because now it's got uh, the normal background color and it's got the highlight colors as well. Keep in mind that the colors that you add has a huge difference. So let me just show you that again. If I click on the settings wheel and I click on change the look, I can very easily just uh, pick another template. I can also scroll through here and say, let me take a look and see what it is that's going to work for me or what colors is it is that I like. So um, so there we go. I think uh, I'll go for that, um, that orange and the red. So now just to give you a couple of examples, um, on this template, of course, um, I picked the purple with the, with the red. And um, again, play around with some colors if you're using the Yero web parts. Yero as well, much darker template that I used. And um, I love the way the yellow actually looks with it. But again, it doesn't work for all the types of sites. Please remember that. This uh, all depends on what type of site is it, it is that it's being used for. And, uh, and of course, you can do the, exactly the same on, um, on your um, normal team site. So here's another example of uh, my demo intranet. And uh, I chose the green theme there and the orange to, of course, fit in with a farm look and feel. So same story on your team sites. If I have to click on the settings wheel and I go change the look, very easy for me to apply another look and feel to the site. And remember, I can style these sites exactly the same. Um, I can also add the Euro web part at the top. So, so very, very, very easy to um, actually style these and to make your sites look different. I hope you'll have fun with it. And then remember, in, uh, in the next little video clip, we're going to look at the quick launch and at the navigation elements for, uh, for your site. Chat soon.